So next topic uh, kinetics of particles now uh, definition of kinetic kinetics is the branch of science uh, which deals with the behavior of a body in motion the forces which cause the motion are considered so let us consider a body of mass m i am applying the system of forces f1 f2 f3 on the body okay the body tends to move in this direction the resultant force acting in this direction so what is the resultant force so resultant force is the force which produces same effect of all the three forces f1 f2 and f3 now r equal to sigma f so from the newton second law what is the resultant force f equal to ma kinetics is the study of the relationship between the forces acting on a body comma mass of the body and acceleration of the body in kinetics we use the newton second law of motion f equal to ma we relate the force with mass and acceleration so next one d lambert's principle the system of forces acting on a body in motion is in dynamic equilibrium with the inertia force of the body let us consider a body as shown in figure subjected to the system of forces f1 f2 and f3 okay so i am considering a body of mass m i am applying the system of forces f1 f2 and f3 so now the body tends to move in this direction the resultant force is acting in this direction what is the resultant force okay it is a force which produces same effect of all the three forces f1 f2 and f3 so from the newton second law of motion f equal to ma so this one is the one system so now how to bring the system into equilibrium so now we have to apply same magnitude of force in opposite direction here f equal to ma i am applying the same magnitude of force ma in opposite direction i am applying ma force in opposite direction here ma is called inertia force or our reverse effective force so now resultant force acting in this direction inertia force acting opposite direction so now resultant force f equal to sum of all the forces f1 f2 f3 okay f equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 so now consider equilibrium of the block the sum of the forces in the horizontal direction is zero sigma fx equal to zero so here what is the force in horizontal direction resultant force f and inertia force so resultant force f minus inertia force is equal to zero so here inertia force is acting in opposite direction so f minus f inertia equal to zero so finally f minus ma equal to zero here inertia force is ma so now f minus ma equal to zero in terms of weight so f minus w by z into a equal to zero so we know that w equal to mg so finally m equal to w by z now motion of a lift so let us consider a lift of weight w and tension in the cable is t so i am considering a lift of weight w and this one is the cable the tension in the cable is t always acting away from the lift so the tension t is acting upwards the weight of the lift is acting downwards so case one lift moving upwards so this one is the free power diagram so what is the direction of motion upwards in opposite direction the inertia force is acted okay inertia force is w by z into a now consider equilibrium of the lift the sum of the forces in vertical direction is zero nothing but sigma f by equal to zero so what are the forces in vertical direction t comma w and w by z into a so what is the force in direction of motion okay t is the force in direction of motion so t is positive so what are the forces in opposite direction w comma w by z into a so now t minus w minus w by z into a equal to zero so t equal to w plus w z by a so finally tension in the cable t equal to w into 1 plus a by z so this is the case so tension in the string lift moving upwards case to lift moving downwards so now lift moving downwards so the direction of motion is downwards the inertia force w by z a acting upwards so now consider the equilibrium of the lift the sum of the forces in vertical direction is zero nothing but sigma f by equal to zero so what are the forces in direction of motion okay w is the force in direction of motion so w is the positive what are the forces opposite to the direction of motion t and w by z into a so now sigma f by equal to zero w minus t minus w by z into a equal to zero so finally 
t equal to w minus double by z into a. So now tension in the cable t equal to w into 1 minus a by z. So this is the tension in the string lift moving downwards. Right, 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 right.